this hour, some breaking news. We're following a pair of fires in central Arkansas tonight. Take a look at this video. This video is coming to us courtesy of Garland County 911 News of a fire at what we believe is a jeep yard in Hot Springs. First responders battling huge flames there, as you see. We're going to get to that fire in just a minute. We've got a crew to update us on that. Another fire, though, tonight, this time at Arkansas Tech. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Ketz. The fire broke out at the historic Williamson Hall this afternoon. It took crews two hours to get it under control. KRK4's Tyler Thomason is there tonight live to tell us what happened. Tyler. Bob and Ashley, yeah, good evening. We're on the campus of Arkansas Tech University in Russellville, and as you mentioned, the historic Williamson Hall, badly damaged by a fire. I'm going to step out of the way. As you can see, fire crews are still at the scene uh, investigating what could be a cause. We're, we don't know yet what caused the fire. The good news here, no one was inside when the fire happened. I'm told that this building is uh, historic and was undergoing some renovations. Uh, it was actually built in 1940 here on the campus of Arkansas. Tech. We're going to take a look at some video here of, of the damage. This is located just behind the football stadium. If you're familiar with the Arkansas Tech campus, it is a classroom building. There are normally classes held inside, but again, as I mentioned, no one was inside when this happened. In fact, it's not even being used this year as it undergoes some of those renovations. The fire left behind several gaping holes in the roof and other parts of the building uh, are badly burned. I'm told this building, again, does have a lot of history behind it, and it was built with money from President Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal. And so, like I say, it's almost an 80-year-old building. Uh, some of our older alumni remember it as the home of the Department of Music. Uh, the legendary Gene Witherspoon taught music here. And so there's a lot of history in that building and a lot of people uh, with kind of sad hearts tonight to see this damage. So again, at this hour, we still don't know what caused the fire. I'm told that it possibly started on the second floor. Investigators, fire investigators have been out here throughout the night trying to determine a cause. Again, no cause has been shared with us just yet. And as for some of the renovations, they told me they were working on adding an elevator and making the building a little more accessible here, getting it a little bit more up to date. Um, so it's still unclear on how those renovations will now be affected after this, this badly damage, bad damage uh, that the building suffered after this fire. But the good news here, no one was inside and no one was hurt. Live in Russellville, Tyler Thomason, KERK4 News. Back to you guys. All right, Tyler, thanks very much.